Hi guys, Jim here. So, hey, so I got an interesting uh, question today on uh, YouTube and I wanted to uh, answer it for you in the best way that I could. Uh, somebody asked, you know, what's, what's the difference between being in the entertainment business or the music business? Aren't they one and the same? And no, the answer is <laughs> they are anything but the same. Uh, for instance, when I first started out, uh, I was playing cover songs in a club in Salem, Massachusetts. Uh, built up a huge following and started playing all over Massachusetts, then all over New England, then all over, you know. But the point was, I was a uh, basically a cover band who did a couple of originals here and there, you know, myself and the band. Uh, but that's the entertainment industry. A club owner hires you to play music people know and get them all rowdy so that they'll drink more, which I was real good at doing, by the way. <laughs> With my attitude adjustments, I got everybody drinking like crazy, which sold a bunch of alcohol, which made the club owners exceedingly happy whenever the Jim Femino band was there. And they made a lot of money. Uh, but again, that's the entertainment industry, the entertainment business, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, believe me, I, I had a ball doing that for many, many years and made a lot of, a lot of money. But the music industry, if, if you're talking to somebody about the music industry, that's an, a recording artist whose business is playing concerts, selling merchandise, and selling um, you know, records for a record company. That's an entirely different case. For instance, when you're a cover band and you go out and you're doing your shows in a club that gives you, you know, 500 bucks a night or 300 bucks a night or whatever, you know, they're paying you to come in and be the entertainment for the night. You know, they're going to have a club, they're going to have a crowd there anyway, but I hope that you bring more people with you. A concert, on the other hand, is a promoter books an empty hall. You know, it could be a stadium, it could be a concert hall, it could be a theater. And he starts advertising your show in hopes of selling tickets. And the whole point is he's going to pay you X amount of dollars, whether he wins or loses. But his, but the entire concept is, you know, the recording industry and concerts, you're, you're there for two reasons. Number one, to sell tickets, to get asses in seats, and to sell merchandise, and to sell records for the record company. Uh, of which they take a really, really big piece of, you know, everything else. You know, that's what a 360 deal is. Well, that, that's a whole other video. But my point is, I just wanted you to be aware of what industry you're in. Are you a recording artist? Are you in re writing new songs, recording all the time, doing your own original songs? You know, then you need to be chasing after the audience that wants to hear you do you. Not you do your favorite cover songs. That's and but you got to realize that to get them, you know, you're gonna need your social media and you're gonna have to be out playing, you, uh, you know, and and at first you're not gonna make a bunch of money because nobody's gonna know who the hell you are. But once you start down that road, you can keep going down that road and build your audience, and that's where your legitimate career comes from as far as the music industry. Because when you do start talking to labels and people like that. They're going to want to know what your numbers are. And I'm not talking about, oh, I've got 190,000 likes on Facebook. I'm talking about they're going to want to know how much has each one of your fans spent on you during the last year. You know, buying merch, buying tickets, uh, buying music you put out. They're going to want to know how much money you are making as a recording artist. Whereas when you're playing in a club as a cover band, that's not necessarily the... You know, you're out there, you're you're doing your thing, and that's that. So, that's the difference between the entertainment business and the music business. Decide which one you want to be in. Put all your eggs in that basket and have at it. Most likely, you probably started out as a cover band playing in clubs, which pretty much everybody does, unless uh, a recording act is put together usually by a producer or by a label, you know, for a ver to fill a specific hole at radio. Uh, anyway, that's all I wanted to do today. Just a short one. I just wanted to explain to you the difference between the music business and the entertainment business. Whichever one makes your heart sing the loudest, go with that one. Trust me. Because at the end of the day, like I like to say, lead with love. Follow your heart. All right. Femi out. I'll see you for the next tip. See ya.